My name is Dr. Tatiana Vinardel. I'm the head of research and education at the Equine Veterinary Medical Center. So we've established EVMC nearly three years ago now, and uh, my role here has been to create a proper research department with uh, three different sections and ethics committee where we have members of Cornell, uh, HBKU, uh, CIDRA and other institutions that are a part of this ethical committee. We also have intramural grant program to fund our research project and we have an independent committee that take care of that so we don't have any conflict of interest ourselves. And then we also register with QNRF our research office. We have different um, collaborations, national and internationally. And uh, EVMC, the beauty of this veterinary hospital is that the, the clinicians that work at EVMC, they find the problems in the clinics and they try to solve them or understand better how to fix them through research. So we are a real example of through translational research. Research projects that I'm involved are related to stem cells biology and also to sports medicine and CAR TH repair, which is really my field of interest. So in terms of stem cells, we're looking at the potential uh, of development and proliferation the stem cells have before and after parturition in mares. And in terms of sports medicine, we are really interested in understanding um, the physiology of the animals when they run endurance races. So we're looking at their blood before and after the races and trying to see if there's some predictor factors that can help us establish if a horse is gonna finish a race and if he's in good conditions to perform the race. So overall, then there's more involvement like in swimming projects and um, other type of related projects like that, but overall those are my two main uh, interests. Hello everyone, my name is Masaaki Oikawa. Everybody call me Dr. Masa. I'm working as a pathologist at EVMC. Uh, today, I'd like to inform my research uh, and luckily, uh, since last year, I have been published three papers. Amongst three papers, I'd like to inform one case report. Please look at this figure. This figure indicates uh, severe cardiac region seen in articular, uh, or oh, oh, sorry, ventricular uh, and interventricular myocardial tissue. These grayish white means uh, disturb the existence of uh, myocardial tissue. Uh, and next, shall we move this microscopical uh, picture? Please look at this pinkish uh, colored tissue. This is very, very important tissue to conduct electric signals to myocardial tissue. That is, by this tissue's function, our cardiac function can, uh, can uh, act, okay? And in this uh, picture, most important point is bluish color. This is very, very bad tissue. This tissue was surrounded to these conduction system, resulting in disturbances of cardiac function, maybe resulting in cardiac sudden death. Okay, uh, in conclusion, Unusual these region seen in blood mare or geriatric host. There is very, very paucity of geriatric or aged uh, horses such as blood mare or stallion. So now my concern is uh, focused on next uh, research. My, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Florent David. 
I'm a clinician in surgery, sports medicine and diagnostic imaging. And as part also of my um, work, I perform clinical research. So I'm going to just uh, talk about the current project that I have um, on the way or partially completed. So the first one is a, a big project about swimming. So horse swimming is uh, not uh, something new, but we've decided to look at it because there is quite a lot of uh, empirical uh, experience data on it, but not really like scientific data. So we've looked at it from the angle of detecting what kind of energy demand like this effort asks uh, the horse, so measuring like uh, VO2 max. We have also looked at the cardiac electric activity during swimming, uh, lactate to see if it's more like an aerobic versus an anaerobic uh, exercise type. And uh, I think the last part of this uh, big project was, um, which was in collaboration with uh, Al Shakab Endurance, uh, was to look at the kinematic of the legs. So that means how the legs are moving and also how the back and the pelvis is moving. So we got a lot of data on that, very interesting information. Another project that I've been working on, which is in collaboration with a team in uh, New Zealand, is to look at a new product for the treatment of uh, joint uh, disease or osteoarthritis, which is called polyacrylamide uh, gel. It's a 2.5% polyacrylamide uh, gel. And we have uh, shown in these uh, studies, like uh, we use a group of um, racing thoroughbred in training without discontinuation of the, the, their training schedule. Uh, horses that were lame uh, on which we injected this drug, the polyacrylamide gel, versus more conventional treatments such as corticosteroid or hyaluronic acid. And we've realized that the, this new product is actually outperforming the other two conventional products. So very interesting information. The other uh, project that I'm currently working on is a, a problem that is more defined in humans, which is called radiculopathy. So inflammation of the nerve that come out of the, the spine, basically uh, the spinal cord and that innervates, you know, muscles and um, in the legs. So we, we sometimes see lameness that uh, on the front limb that cannot be explained by any problems. And that's due to an inflammation and pain irritation of those nerves. So, Basically, our project was to uh, uh, design a new ultrasound guided uh, injection technique to medicate the, the area around the nerve in a safe way. So another project that I'm uh, also working on, we have developed uh, uh, a castration technique that has the, the value, uh, add the value of reducing the complication rate and having very little post-op care for the owners. So that's a, a project that we are currently completing, but with very uh, attractive results for the, the practitioner that wants to use this technique. And we have another surgical project that we are also working on. It's a new uh, anastomosis technique for small intestine anastomosis, so end-to-end -end anastomosis. And the objective of that is to, again, reduce the complication rate. So minimize the post-operative reflux and uh, stenosis that you have usually at the level of the anastomosis. And that project is uh, on, on the way. And finally, like uh, our last project is in sports medicine and we have like uh, sports medicine diagnostic imaging. It's a project that look at the uh, bone marrow edema or bone marrow abnormalities uh, in horses performing uh, at high level sports like either racing or jumping, dressage. And the, the, the difficulty to diagnose this, um, this problem is that it doesn't really like uh, materialize on radiographs, it's only on MRI. So we are looking at a new way to evaluate this bone marrow uh, abnormality on uh, dual energy CT. So what is the future for the, the, the research that I'm gonna conduct in the hospital? It's still very uh, clinical driven. So I think, you know, like with the, the very good news we got with the polyacrylamide uh, gel, we are going to investigate if there is any change for people that like to combine the gel with corticosteroid at the same time or to give it at a different time point, if there is any change in the doping slash detection time. So that's one thing that we're going to do in the future. And the other project is also to investigate, you know, like regarding swimming, 
Swimming can be, uh, some, some people think it could be deleterious for back pain. So we are going to look at uh, if there is any kind of influence of the swimming on occurrence of back pain or improvement or deterioration of back pain after swimming. Thank you.